Horrible Harry and the Green Slime by Susie Klein Secret Pals Miss Mackle held up a big glass jar with the names of everyone in room 2B. Today, she said, we will pick Secret Pals. Everyone looked around the room and pointed at somebody. Harry pointed at me. I pointed at Harry. Just a minute, Miss Mackle continued, when I say pick a pal, I mean pick a pal out of this jar. Everyone stared at the jar and groaned. For one week, Miss Mackle continued, you will send letters and little homemade surprises to your secret pal. On Friday, you will bring a letter to school saying who you are. I hope this activity will promote writing skills and new friendships. I put my hand in the jar very carefully. Then Harry did. Slowly we opened the folded pieces of paper. Harry flashed his white teeth. I could tell he was happy about the name he drew. I bet you have Song Li, I whispered. Harry nodded. How did you guess? Miss Mackle put the jar back on her desk. Now remember, boys and girls, your secret pal is a secret. Don't tell anyone. And when you give your pal something, make sure it is when he or she is not at their desk. Who do you have, Doug? Harry whispered. I can't tell you. Didn't you hear the teacher? Harry made a face. I told you. No, you didn't. I guessed yours. Do you have Ida? Harry guessed. I shook my head. Tell me. Harry insisted. I can't. Then you're not my friend anymore, Harry said. Miss Mackle stood in front of the class. I think this activity will be a fun learning experience. Some fun, I thought. I just lost my best friend. The next day when Song Lee was with her special English teacher, Harry put a fat letter on her desk with a picture of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Harry found a letter on his desk. He read it aloud. Harry leaned over on his desk, See Doug, my pal knows how to be a friend. He's not like you. And then he picked up the conch and listened to the sounds of the sea. He didn't even ask me if I wanted a turn. When I came back from lunch, I found a drawing on my desk. It was supposed to be a flying unicorn in a snowstorm. I thought it was dumb. My secret pal didn't even know how to spell my name. On Wednesday, I got a drawing of a snowman and one sentence. It was a one-eyed snowman. Ho, 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 I thought. It was so funny, I forgot to laugh. Thursday, Son Lee found a clay sal amander on her desk. There was a story next to it. The story was three pages long. I could tell Song Lee liked the salamander because she named it Lin Wu and made a collar of flowers for it. When Harry came back from the lavatory, he had another note and surprise on his desk. It was a pencil holder made out of a ball of aluminum foil. Three holes were jabbed in it for pencils. Harry read his note. Dear Harry, I know you like to write stories so here is something to hold your pencils. And when you are bored you can take the pencils out and play catch with it. Your pal. See? Harry said. My secret pal knows how to be a friend. Are you going? To change your mind and tell me who your secret pal is? I shook my head. Then I'm not even going to talk to you anymore. Harry was acting so horrible I didn't even care if he was my best friend any. More. When I came back from the pencil sharpener, I found a folded piece of paper on my desk. Probably another dumb letter from Frosty. I opened it. The note had two sentences this time. 
Sorry pal I just have one crayon and it's red. Frosty. Friday morning everyone was excited about finding out who his secret pal was. Except me. Miss Mackle passed out the homework letters. Now you will find out who your secret pal is. Song Lee turned as red as a salamander when she found out it was Harry. I think she knew who it was all along though. She turned red because Harry drew a heart on his letter. I read mine. It said, Dear Doug, You got lucky. You got me for a secret. Pal. From. Sydney. I thought it was from someone like Sydney. Harry finally got around to opening. His letter. It was folded five times about the size of a lemon. Harry read it out loud. Dear Harry. We were best friends before we became secret pals. Now we don't even talk. Or play I still don't feel like telling you who I am. Harry looked at me, you. I should have guessed. You didn't want to spoil the surprise. I didn't say anything. I just looked. Ahead at the classroom calendar for December. I could see from the corner of my eye that Harry was writing something. Then drawing something. Then he pushed it under my elbow. I acted like it wasn't there. I wanted to count how many days were in December. There were 31. Slowly, I moved the paper in front of me and I read it. Deet Doug. I am sore. Will you forgive me? P.S. Here is. You're beaut forever. Harry. I turned and looked at Harry. He was smiling so hard I could see. His two silver fillings in the back. Sometimes when Harry is really horrible, he apologizes. And sometimes, I forgive him.